now that we have um, the virtual environment uh, set up on our computer, we're ready to get ahead and install uh, Django. Um, we're going to use Django 1.10.2, which is the latest version as I speak, and we're going to go ahead and use that one. So we're going to use uh, we're going to install the specific version of Django, and we're going to put that in version control two. Um, now, you remember we deactivated our um, virtual environment. So if I went and installed Django right now, it's going to go into my computer, not my virtual environment, and overwrite any other versions of Django that are not under version control. I don't want to do that, so let's go ahead and activate our um, virtual environment again. So we do source bin activate. Go ahead, and we got it activated. Sweet. Now I'm going to clear my screen with Command K, and we're going to go ahead and install a specific version of Django. I'm going to do pip. I'm going to do pip three install. Capital D Django two equal signs one point ten point two hit return and this is going to install the latest version of Django one point ten point two which is currently the latest version like I just said so that's going to go ahead and it's collecting it and it's going to download it it's going to install it and allow us to be able to use it um, once this is done downloading, we're going to check to make sure it's installed properly by going into the Python interpreter. We're going to import Django and then we're going to call Django version and that will give us the latest, our, our version of Django installed in our virtual environment. So I'm just waiting for this to install. Shouldn't take this long. All right, it's successfully installed Django 1.10.2. Now let's go ahead and check the version. So we'll do Python 3 to open our Python 3 interpreter. As you can see, Python 3.5.2 is our latest version of Python. So let's now check see if we have the latest version of Django. Import Django, just like that. And that imports the Django package. And now we're gonna do we're gonna do Django command and then version. All capitals. And it kicks back a uh, return of the version. So we got 1, 10, 2, final, 0. We're looking at these three numbers here, and we want to make sure it's 1, like just what we added up here, 1, 1. And then you can just imagine a point or dot, 10, dot, 2. Sweet. We got the latest version of Django. All right, let's get out of your interpreter by hitting Control D. All right, cool. So we're going to move on to the next part. We're going to create our first Django project. I'll see you in that tutorial.